always from the heart of the city and now on demand 24 7 on the chfi website this is the soundtrack to accompany angels and demons and i'm don jackson with lovers and other strangers around the world on the internet the new dan brown thriller is out in theaters and so i thought i might borrow the title and present my own hour-long tribute to other angels and one demon with lovers and other strangers from chfi.com around the world now on the internet lovers and other strangers from chfi.com train calling all angels and five for fighting with the riddle the Dan Brown book has finally been made into a movie, once again starring Tom Hanks. After my wife finished reading The Da Vinci Code, Brown's incredible novel that was also made into a huge blockbuster film, she was so hooked that I gave her Angels and Demons to read. I would find her standing at the stove, cooking and reading at the same time. She simply couldn't put the book down. Whether the film version will live up to the book or the Da Vinci Code before it, well, that remains to be seen. But I thought we might share some thoughts on some other angels and demons this hour with lovers and other strangers from chfi.com. Lovers and other strangers from chfi.com. Linda Ronstadt with Aaron Neville, All My Life, and Elton John, and Someone Saved My Life Tonight. Hey, Angel, Amarante called out in his dream. What's a rainbow doing over our town on a sunny day like today? Maybe it's because for once in your lives, you people are trying to do something right. Abruptly, the angel disappeared. An excerpt from the Malagro Beanfield War by John Nichols. We've always been fascinated by angels. Just look at the success of the huge bestseller, A Book of Angels, by Sophie Burnham, published by Ballantyne. She probably gives us the best description of what an angel really could be. She writes, and I quote, The very word angel means messenger, and they come in the form which they can be received as dreams, accidents, coincidence, intuition. That tap on the shoulder that says, go there and don't go there. We've all had that. We've all said, I knew I should have taken that road and I didn't listen. They come in the books that we read or as animals, especially dogs, it seems, or as humans. Someone will come up to you and say exactly the words you need to hear at that moment. Or you will act as an angel for someone, being spoken through. You may not even know that you were acting as an angel. But sometimes the hairs on your arm will lift, or you'll get goosebumps. Or you'll feel enveloped in warmth and light. Unquote from A Book of Angels by Sophie Burnham, published by Ballantyne. Speaking of dogs being angels, I firmly believe they have something of that angelic light, their love for us being so unconditional. And I have a poem that you might like. It's coming up next with lovers and other strangers from chfi.com. Lovers and other strangers online and on demand from chfi.com. The Supremes and Someday will be together. Rod Stewart with this and Sarah McLaughlin from the premier film about angelic intervention.
City of Angels, and of course the song Angel. This was sent to me some time back via email by Olaf, and once again I thank him for this. Its author is unknown. An angel was sent down from heaven one day to visit a child who had nothing to say. Now this young child was poor, great wealth she did lack, but she was always happy in spite of the fact. Until one day, it happened her best friend went away, and it left her heartbroken, with nothing to say. Now the task of the angel was a great one indeed, to give hope to a heart that was so much in need. And though great riches and power were at the angel's command, he sent a lost puppy, and the healing began. The girl cheered the puppy as he chased down a stick, and she started to giggle as her face he would lick. Then without warning, the girl whose heart broke found some reason for saying these words that she spoke. I love you, little puppy. I hope you will stay. We will always be friends, and together we'll play. Now the little girl was happy, though she still remained poor, for she had a new friend, someone to care for. You see, riches and power are fine things indeed, but for a broken heart, that is not what you need. The angel was wise, for he knew in the end how to mend a broken heart with the touch of a friend. This is CHFI.com. I'm Don Jackson. Lovers and other strangers on demand to fit your lifestyle from CHFI.com. Mark Cohen's true companion and Ryan Dan with the face. This is another poem. It's called Working Angel. It's author unknown. Last night, I had a dream. It had a tale to tell. I dreamed I saw an angel. Poor thing. He wasn't feeling well. His body was bruised and battered. His wings were ripped and torn. This angel could hardly walk. He looked so tired and worn. I walked right up to him to ask, Angel, how can this be? He turned around and paused a bit. Then he spoke these words to me. I'm your guardian angel. A great task, as you can see. You've run amok most all your life. Look what it's done to me. These bruises are from shielding you in times both dire and ill. Those alcoholic bouts and drugs you've used, I've often paid the bill. You see, my wings are ripped and torn, a noble badge I wear. How often they have flown you from evils unaware. Each mark its own story of deadly wounds destroyed. You made me wish more than once that I was unemployed. I could not believe all I had heard, let alone how much he cared. I wept upon his shoulder, then left him in despair. The next day I sat and pondered, should I really try? And in the distance I thought I heard a frail old angel cry. A poem called Working Angel, a copy available in one of my past blogs, which leads me to the demon that tempts us from time to time. He's next with lovers and other strangers from CHFI.com.
lovers, and other strangers. From CHFI.com, Amanda Marshall leaving Birmingham and One Republic with Timbaland and apologize. Opalius once remarked, demons are animals with a rational mind, a passive and immortal soul. Sophie Burnham, in her bestseller, A Book of Angels, wrote, and I quote, I think all religions have demonic figures who lie and cheat and twist the truth and tempt weak humankind with vanity, fear, doubt, obsessive lust, and avarice, unquote. But occasionally they present us with a conundrum. It was Nietzsche who said, what if a demon were to creep after you one night and say this life that you must live must be lived by you once again and innumerable times more, and every pain and joy and thought and sigh must come again to you all in the same sequence. The eternal hourglass will again and again be turned, and you with it. Would you throw yourself down, gnash your teeth, and curse that demon? Or would you answer, Never have I learned anything more divine. Something to ponder. Lovers and other strangers. From CHFI.com